I want to talk about a big omnibus comic book. This is The Punisher by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. Um, this is a collection of Garth Ennis's first run on The Punisher before it went to the Max print. This is the Marvel Knights collection. This is The Punisher as he should be. Uh, the Punisher is mean, he's merciless, uh, but he doesn't say a lot and it's structured in such a way that every ish couple of issues or story arc can be read in isolation and you won't miss anything but if you read it as a whole omnibus you get a full thread through all of it uh, and it's best read as the omnibus as well. Um, when you think of The Punisher and the films they've made and the series they've recently made and also finished with on Netflix you think how could they cock it up each time and um, this was done in 2000 so you go okay I'll let you off for the Dolph Lundgren version but how could they cock it up they take elements from this run all of them have and they've sort of taken bits that you say okay that's good and then they've thrown away so much else and none of this is expensive to shoot or write or film and you just think, I wonder who stepped in and told them otherwise. Um, because you don't have to have, The Punisher isn't about big CGI action set pieces. It's about a guy walking in a room and shooting people's heads off and torturing them. It's about 18 rated practical special effects. Um, and when you read this, it's got so many good isolated stories in there. You could have said to Netflix, right, you've got the Punisher, write this. And just said, and you've essentially got storyboards. Every every story is a storyboard. And you can have a great time filming it and then in turn watching it. And I think this would have put the Punisher well firmly on the map. Um, but otherwise, that's my little rant about the Punisher, but you, you will feel like you are watching a movie when you read this. Um, it's really well banged. It's got this nice, after the dust covers off, it's got this nice printing on it. Um, nice big Punisher skull on the back. Um, you don't get much gutter loss. It's, I think, about just over a thousand pages, but it's got a nice binding. Um, none of it was coming away. I was able to read this in bed without too much trouble. I think when books start getting up to the thousand page mark, they get difficult to open and read and enjoy and they just become more of a shelf item than something you'd want to pick up and look at. Um, it costs a bit, this can cost between 40 and 50 pounds, um, you've got to have, you really have to like watch the prices and monitor them to get it at its best price but it's certainly worth it compared to the price of say individual hardcovers or the paperback volumes um, and it's just a nice nice collection to have as well and Garth Ennis sums it up best in his sort of little letter to the reader that he puts at the end of the omnibus which is the Punisher is all about entertainment and fun and a sort of ultra violence and the way the Punisher is isn't something that's to be defended but you just need to understand when you're going into it it's about entertainment and fun and he hits the nail on the head and I think that's why it comes across so well he isn't trying to get across a political message or anything about gun violence he just knows what people like to watch and that's the sort of violent 70s 80s action movie kind of stuff um <laughs> also he's got some views i think on um, how the punisher sees the rest of the marvel universe because he goes up against wolverine uh spider-man and daredevil towards the end of the run and they come across as absolute buffoons daredevil in particular um and it's just funny to read i, I was laughing out loud when i was going through it because he sort of hits a nail on the head when it comes to picking them apart for what they do and how they um, how they are and the Punisher just makes short work of them. Um, so yeah, the Punisher omnibus of Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon, definitely worth, um, worth picking up if you are a fan of the Punisher in any shape or form. Um, and if you only want one Punisher book, this really is the one to get.